STEM. Before we adopted the linked learning philosophy, when you looked at our test results, troubling. But three years ago, we adopted a new philosophy. We decided we wanted to connect our academic program to a career pathway. That's AP Cal. Oh, and there's biomedicine. It's supposed to be our lab journal. We're supposed to only use pen because you normally don't erase your mistakes. You just learn from them. You are proof that this experiment is working. I thought I wouldn't have to study to be an engineer until I'm in college, but I'm doing it in high school. So I was a bit, I was actually a bit excited about it. It's like I get an early head start. That believing in students can yield the results that we're looking for. That's what makes them um, so cool. I won't have to struggle in college. I can struggle now. <laughs> All I asked is if we worked really hard, if we could just somehow hold that line, if we could keep it in the 80 percentile at 83 and 84. STEM, take a look at the data. Tell me what you think. Come on, guys. I think what you would see in a typical high school is a math, science, English, history, Spanish class. And all five of them would be operating separately, no real connection. What makes this a linked learning school is that we're linking all of those subjects together through a career pathway. We are officially launching the project-based learning, the one that goes through every class. You guys remember that? Do you know in New York how there's a Central Park? We're trying to bring that same thing here. A lot of people found the funding, they found the area. We're going to cap the highway and we're going to put a park over it. The juniors and seniors are working on building a design. Your job is to create one part of the design. A themed footbridge. You are now in the second semester of ninth grade. We're going to ask more of you. I'm a little scared. It's a big project in like a short amount of time. My brother was studying becoming an engineer. My dad was also an engineer. And I mean, I just don't want to disappoint anyone. It is important for them to leave the campus. That is the linked learning experience. You're connecting the academics to the real world. So our 11th graders and 12th graders start to take on mentorships and internships and work with career professionals. I got this internship. The Friends of Hollywood Central Park nonprofit, they're going to build a park and it's going to be in the freeway, under the freeway, so that they can link these two parts of the city together. It's going to change the way we look at Los Angeles. It's always been my dad, not one who says, you know, become a professional. I remember talking to my little brother. We're like, how are we going to help them when we're older? What's it gonna be like leaving STEM? I really like blocked that out of my head because as a senior, I would think about it and then uh, and just shut, it, sh just shut it down. First semester ended and I applied to several colleges. You're always supposed to feel nervous when you're gonna move out and do something new. So how do you predict graduation day would go? Really sad. What we've seen since we adopted the link learning philosophy is huge engagement. I mean, we are absolutely preparing our students for careers, for colleges. But we're also just struggling with graduation rates, with some of the issues that you face in this neighborhood. And engagement pushes us all the way through that. My students are ordinary kids having extraordinary experiences. At this school, in the beginning of a semester, you have different teachers that teach different subjects. 
planning one project together. The project is pathway specific. We came up with, all right, we're gonna focus on infectious diseases and what we should do is have the PSA festival. Can you guys tell what's gonna be the final thing that you're gonna need to have for your project? You need to make a public service announcement. And remember that you will be working in multiple classes for this project, your art class, your bio class, um, English class, and this class, okay? All right, so. My name is Sassi Del Moral. I'm in ninth grade and I'm in the medical pathway. Sassi is talkative, lacks a little focus. She wasn't an all-star student. I'm like, on the verge of like failing, I think more than half my classes. Since we have like the link learning, it has like multiple classes in it. If you do bad in it, like it lowers your grade in like every class. If I do good in this project, it'll like really boost up my grade. So there's a park gonna be built. It's called the Hollywood Central Park and our bridge was gonna be inside. In another school, it might have been just a simple bridge project where you make a bridge and it has to withstand weight. In STEM, you have to build a bridge, but you have to find out material, how it affects the environment. You have to come up with a report on it. Today's the 24th, yes? Yes. Monday I see you, Friday I see you. Thursday is the presentation. Do you see how fast that is? Yeah. I'm a good student. I do get good grades. A lot of people tell me I'm smart, which, I mean, I won't deny that I am, but in all honesty, that makes me sound very conceited. All the expectations that are expected of me, I try to meet them as best as I can. When we start filming, you guys are just gonna be background. You guys are just like sitting there. Jesse! Jesse! Sit up, please. You feel comfortable? Confident? Yeah. Yeah? Ready, set, action. But mom, I really like you. No, no, it's not about her right now. It's about you and the STD that you got that we don't know about. What is chlamydia anyway? Jasmine, I have to That's when you say That's mom. Oh, no. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. You did good. Beautiful. Oh, my God. That was really good, you guys. Yeah, that was really good. I think she saw that she's just as bright as her teammates. She should be doing better, and she can do better. She really stepped it up. Uh, who's next? Brandon. You ready? Did you make changes? Round two. OK, OK, let's start. The sun's supposed to be up there. It's not supposed to be up there. Is the sun supposed to be up there? No, it can be anywhere you want. It could be anywhere, but it has to be pointing towards it. I hope that when you do the actual presentation, you don't have this argument in front of the audience. You're, from the last presentation, you guys were like here, and now you're like here. Is it this? I think he ran into some issues with his team. We as engineers don't ever work alone. The next step for him is to really learn to delegate more than just doing. How do you feel your, your team did? We're not really functioning. We don't function well together, I guess you could say. But if you were graded today, how do you think it would have gone? Pretty bad. Really bad. You think you guys will get it? Anything can happen. Thank you for attending the Hollywood Central Park 11th grade engineers final presentation. We'd struggled for a long time in creating uh, a real world experience for our engineering students uh, until I met Lori Goldman. The name of the organization is Friends of the Hollywood Central Park. We are responsible for building the Hollywood Central Park. Hollywood Central Park is a 38 acre green open space deck park in the heart of Hollywood.
Once the park is completed, we would manage and operate the park. Lori Goldman, she was the one who kind of linked Friends of Hollywood Central Park to what we were doing. She brought them into the school this year. They got a grant for paid internships. And I said, terrific, give me four. <laughs> Our principal got me involved. He just said, get on Lori's good side. <laughs> At first it was like, is this really going to happen? It started getting real when the money came in, I guess. You know, and you're like, okay, this is a real job. Just being an intern was a privilege. It is a privilege and an honor to be there because you get to be a supporter of something that's gonna be great. We expose them to things they never would have seen. In a typical high school and without the STEM program, they never would have been exposed to every possibility that's out there. My name is Lori Hunt and I'm the instructional coach for STEM Academy. In classrooms, they have all of these hands-on activities in medical and engineering, but the partnerships and the internship opportunities that we get from being a linked learning school is what hooks them. So tell me really briefly what's going on this morning in general. Uh, it's a link learning conference. They want to know the true stories of link learning students firsthand. So remember just to breathe and take your time. Every sentence that you say is important and everybody needs to hear it. Wait, what do you feel, Ruben? <laughs> like there's some weight on my chest, a little bit, like pressure, anxiety, stress. So I got some intel about the people here. But there are probably high school principals here, but for the most part they're at the, the, the government they're at the government level and the state level. Okay? I don't see myself as a role model at all. Basically when I was growing up, I didn't really have one. My brother cycled and out the juvenile system. I don't want that to happen to me. I wanna be able to support myself and my family and make something out of my life. My dad, he came from Guatemala. He is an engineer at heart, even though he can't become that because he's supporting us in different ways. I'm very proud of you and, and your brother because, uh, I mean, things that I couldn't accomplish in my life, uh, it will be a, a great satisfaction if uh, you can uh, leave something good behind uh, for this, this, this country and the world. Welcome to the first ever statewide link learning convention. I'm very, very happy now to introduce Ruben Ruiz, a senior with a focus on biomedicine. So Ruben, welcome. <laughs> um, good morning, everyone. My name is Ruben Ruiz, and I'm a senior at STEM Academy of Hollywood. My school helped me gain important experiences outside of the classroom. Last summer, I had a paid internship at Kaiser Permanente in the gastroenterology department. I strongly recommend you to go to a Link Learning High School because it definitely worked for me. Thank you. Had he not had that experience outside the classroom, Ruben might not realize his dream of being a medical professional. In a big way, me and my brother are their shadows. We speak for them because they can't. Maybe in the future, when we have everything together, when me and him are finally professionals. My parents always reinforce me, like, don't end up like your brother, go to school, do this. Like, basically, save the family. They see what it is. So what are you holding right now? What is this thing? My college acceptance letter to Cal State Northridge. Congratulations, Ruben Me. You have been formally admitted to California State University. And then the dean signed it. My understanding of the evolution was that there were a lot of career technical education classes. I think that it was kind of creating a track 
for workforce readiness without college readiness. Linked Learning really insisted on connecting academics with the career pathway and then ultimately understanding they had to raise the support that students needed to be successful. The ninth grade experience is really important. They chose a career pathway in either medicine or engineering if they come to STEM. Brandon is a very bright student. He has some trouble when it comes to communicating. Sassi wasn't an all-star student. She is a creative person. If she thought that the project was something that she wanted to work on and she really felt inspired to work on. We were learning about like the infectious diseases in the PSA. I found that interesting. If I do good in this project, it's just gonna like help me feel better. Tell myself like I can actually do this. Our project was foot bridges. The project affected three of our grades. We had one chance to present. And it's like, if you blow it, you blow it. For the Hollywood Central Park, we thought of it as two different communities being connected by a bridge. Hence, bridges connect worlds. He's gonna have to be vulnerable. The more vulnerable he is and the more times he tries, the more he'll learn. The best one we've seen. Yeah. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> What is the community anyway? Hi, my name is Sassi. I was the director of the PSA. The director, that's a pretty big role. And since she has the potential to be a leader, it let her kind of like realize that potential. So we gave two awards. The first award in creativity, Chlamydia. It feels so great that we won. I really worked so hard on this PSA and so did the rest of my group. I believe in myself and like, I, just, I just think positive. After our ninth graders have had this multidisciplinary experience, we bring our 11th graders and 12th graders out into the real world for mentorships and internships. Every year, the organization I work for there was this big gala night, and because I'm an intern, we actually got to go to this gala. The night is beautiful, everything's beautiful, and they started talking about STEM and everything that we've done. All my kids at gala and their teachers, we introduced them from the stage and made them stand up a hundred times. We were honored to stand up, and everybody applauded, and that was pretty, like, wow, okay, <laughs> this is real. When my dad picked me up from the night, I felt joy that they could see me in this beautiful dress. Coming out of an event like that, it made me feel like this is going to be my future. If I got this far, then what's holding me back from my full potential? They were exposed to every possibility that's out there for them and they could dream big. You have to dream big. And I don't think they're afraid to dream now. They may have been before STEM, but they're not now. I love graduation. It's so gratifying and it's so satisfying. Ruben's experience in particular, he's an exemplar of all the students at STEM. They're not the outstanding student. They're also not the struggling student. Every student is Ruben, really. As graduates of the STEM Academy, this will always be your school. Your teachers, your principal, we will always be here rooting for you and celebrating your success. Just seeing them on the stage, shaking the principal's hand and looking out and getting that picture, it's awesome for the families. It's just like, oh, yes. <laughs> We're saving the world one student at a time.